So it's like as an actual form of expression in a way, or even as a hobby. Mm -hmm. I felt like I needed it. So then I started playing in bands in Berlin, uh, literally after like eight years of not touching the instrument. And it was so amazing to uh, revisit it because uh, it's very different to play punk <laughs> when you're like 35 and then you've learned all about like critical discourse and, uh -huh. and then you just do it like for your staff and you don't do it for your peers. Like I, I felt like when I was like 22 and I was playing in bands, it was very like an ego thing, you know, it's like, oh, I want to be part of some subculture or something. And then, and, 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 and now it isn't. And at some point we, it's a long story, but at some point we met with Bobo and then we started the duo in Berlin and like slowly we kind of developed this language that I guess we're using now. And then it became, like as I say, I, I have this like kind of complicated story and then so I'm looking at the guitar in the, in the living I'm making, I'm only interested in like, like, like a very straightforward emotional communication. Like I did all the all the sort of noise and electronic stuff and I also have it I get a little work so like I'm not sure I don't mm. I don't wanna to touch the computer <laughs> if I don't have yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um and then and then even though I don't really consider myself as a trained guitar player, like I I never like had any lessons or whatever. I just like sort of playing that feels like very direct. I don't use a pick even because I just want to be like very close mm -hmm. to, the, to the instrument. And uh, and I think there's something, like of course everybody's bored of a guitar. Mm. And, uh, and everybody's bored of, of the guitar music. I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like, it depends like, you know, I, mm. I, 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 I'm interested in the kind of like a contemporary discourse and I don't want to play sort of like vintage band, you know, like mm -hmm. I, I want to participate, like, you know, I want to contribute to something that, so then, then, um, and I, and I think like, at least in my community in Berlin, there's like less people going to see live concerts, you know, if you mm -hmm. play like a DJ gig in Berkheim, mm -hmm. there's going to be like thousands of people, but yeah. you know, like right. to get like 50 people to like an improvised gig in mm -hmm. Berlin, it's actually, it's, that's a pretty good audience. Yeah. So I started thinking like, I don't think there's nothing wrong, there's like nothing wrong with music. But the context is like exactly yeah I, I agree yeah. so so yeah. I'm I'm writing lyrics that are um, that I think are also creating a different context right like like maybe they invite people to to think differently about what they what they um, listen to um, and also I'm interested in the guitar as like a, an object so this is like first guitar that I made. And it was made for like an art show where I'm like, oh, this is kind of like uh, a sculpture, mm -hmm. but also like a fully functional guitar. Actually, it sounds pretty nice, I think. Um, which, you know, so I'm, 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 I'm trying to kind of like get to this place where I have an instrument, which I don't know, looks so beautiful that I can just play two notes and everybody is like, yeah. <laughs> <is> fine. <laughs> like, we don't need anything else, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, yeah, I guess I'm just trying to find like a very kind of direct, like I like playing melodies and, and stuff. I like really like monophonic Renaissance music. That's uh -huh. my favorite stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. ah, see cool. Thank you, Vich. Thank you. <laughs> Bobo, you're close. My story is super short. <laughs> because, oh wow, I just started to play the drums like three, two years ago. So, yeah. Uh, I uh, I studied fine art in Germany, like for six years, like forever. So uh, always I uh, my friend I had like around me the people like mm -hmm. who's playing music and uh, who was having a uh, band and so on. So like music was always like around me, and then I was uh, seeing like they're playing and mm -hmm. I was always like a part of them, mm -hmm. like groupie. <laughs> So like three years ago, I went to Korea just for um, vacation, like for two months. So I thought, yeah, I have like a bunch of time and what should I do? And then I just taking up, what was it like this um, drum course, like mm -hmm. what was And then it was okay, just learn like some like uh, bas basic uh, rhythms and so on. So I get, came back to uh, Germany, so... And then 
start started to play with my friend like it's just like um, um like i have now like four bands like two of them is like a punk band and then one of them is a dream and one of them is like some kind of performance school because mm -hmm. i'm kind of like yeah i'm doing performance performance art so we started to play and then uh, like before i graduated in Udeka in Berlin, wow. uh, we played like on the festival uh, from the university. So uh, Wojciech found me, uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and also some other band member found me, and they really spoke to me, and then okay. we made uh, yeah, right. yeah band. So I always uh, loved like um, free jazz and jazz and so punk and so on. So. And you know my favorite artists uh, like yeah. <laughs> Peter Brusman and Han Ben, so blah blah blah. And then our story is such a long story, so uh, yeah, we can have another yeah, slow, another yeah, kind of super <laughs> super long story, like some sorrow there. <laughs> so yeah, now here I am. Yeah. Thank you, Bobo. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, as an anecdote, maybe maybe uh -huh. you also had these feelings in bands before, but. We were part of a music project, and yeah, I was just helping, right? Yeah, and Bobo, was, just... was like a side mm -hmm. side drummer, uh, session drummer, I'm sorry. And uh, we were in the studio, and we never played before. No, and when, no, 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 no. <laughs> we went to the studio, it was and like started playing, play, uh -huh. and then the singer got so mad that she left the band. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, yeah. She's what like, was it? like, I, I can't she left, see. She basically, like, the, yeah, like, she left the studio, and she we couldn't find her. And then I, I feel think, a headache, blah blah blah. I know. And I feel we like we had the like chemistry yeah. and she didn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next. Adam, time. what do we have here? Adam use yeah, I, oh <laughs> these things not, here. This is not on the record. <laughs> 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 It's all it's already uh, uploaded. <laughs> it's, 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 all all on, yeah. it's all done on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tra I'm transmitting live. I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, no, I'm no, kidding. No. Okay. Adam? Yesterday you've seen some, uh, you hit some sounds, but uh, yeah. what I mm -hmm. do it was uh, I have a five years break uh, because I was uh, I was studying the directing uh, of puppetry art. For five years, I was learning how to manipulate puppets and how to make the performances with puppets. So before I was playing in a punk band on percussion, the percussion was my first instrument. I was going to start playing at six, six years mm -hmm. and ten years of playing. And then, of course, punk bands like guitar, bass guitar, everything <laughs> that it's needed. And then I go for studies. And last uh, 12 years after studies was uh, completely mad, uh, like mad situation with the magnetophones. I started it because I don't have money at all. <laughs> After studies, I cannot find uh, my way of doing the puppetry art totally. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can, I cannot do anything for children, and that was the main thing in Poland. Yeah. Okay. For children. Okay. Yeah. So I do some independent uh, performances with some groups, and then, but uh, there it appears that they need more some conceptual uh, music artist or some uh, sound designer than a uh, new director. Yeah. So director and actors, everybody knew and know and uh, can invite for work and it was pretty for uh, good people with that. And they're looking for somebody who's who know the computers, how to doing the, the, the live shows on the yeah, like yeah. on Ableton or something like, okay, I can do it somehow and but I don't have money for it and uh, I was working in a music shop mm -hmm. I found some job in a music shop and they have a lot of very nice effects for the guitars yeah. I was completely like wow cool it's like uh, Zvex you know yeah, yeah. Every, every very nice uh, and I start to plug in um, like simple Walkmans like um, tape players that I found on the flea markets for five water for one euro. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Like the, 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 the mixer was like uh, all the days spending in the studio with plug them and checking what it's working, what's not working. 
I even never make any like circus bending star stuff on the magnetophones. I just use what is what it gives you, right? Yeah. Like how you can rewind tapes, how you can stop them. Uh, yeah, 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 And uh, that that's, that was for me like enough. And then uh, and then I uh, after some uh, works in the theater, I realized that I really love to make some audio performances like just uh, radio shows maybe or something and for six years i had this project named grupa etica curpina and i make a lot of now it's like 10 or 11 sh radio shows uh, just made uh, with sound collages from oh, yeah? founded tapes uh -huh. like all around the world uh, oh, thank you. Oh, that's buy nice. my tapes cut them some sometimes sometimes just uh, uh, working with Ableton to uh -huh. connect them, to connect them, uh, record yeah. on tape, then play like making this hop, hop, hop. Yeah, hop, yeah, genau, genau, genau. Computer back to cassettes, and now I use uh, these cassettes so, are just prepared uh, samples. Like more of them are prepared on real to real tapes. Yeah. Just to use old ones that are crushed or damaged somehow, so the head the tape head don't record very well. So it gives you a lot of. Uh, um, artifacts of noise, of yeah, yeah, yeah. hum, of everything. I love hum of VHS how, how, how tapes. Yeah. VHS tapes. Yeah, yeah, I can know. And I record a lot of VHA, old VHS. That's nice, yeah. Because yeah. they are had this small region where you can, can record audio, so they are really yeah, yeah, yeah. like making very strange stuff uh -huh. there. And uh, so I just uh, use some players to animate, how to make animation of these tapes on it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I love to play uh, like that when I improvise because I can use uh, these speakers, you know, that they have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, this yeah. is like another... Another uh, level, level, right? From, of, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So generating how, the sound. How do you... Put the the sounds. Also, how do you put the sounds on the tape? I mean, how do you record the, your own stuff? How I record them? Yeah. I just record them. Like, like you over it, here, yeah. you use the you use them. Okay, I see. And do you have this knowledge of the yeah. tape, like the same way as like, you know, did you have knowledge of the record? You know, it's like, oh, I know that like the next thing is exactly that certain kind of sample. Yes, exactly. Like. Uh, when I now play with this group I think called Kurpina and the logo, after six years I really like know all the transitions. So I just choose from uh, different tapes, like I compose real performance. Like when I play I just every every performance are totally different. And just listen and I know when some transition will happen, some sound will happen. So I choose just Mm -hmm. Next yeah, yeah, step, yeah. and it's going farther and mm -hmm. farther, and I decide not to stop. That's yeah. enough. So far, that's, that's okay. So this is just you, uh, yeah. Ethical yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did you decide to have these two projects? Because now you're performing under your own name. Right? Uh, now just for this festival, uh, yeah, the Mateusz. Um, okay. Yeah, I did it because Adam uh, played here as a group Ethica Kurpina a few times before. Uh, in Gorzów, so we wanted to make it some uh, different way this time, and uh, yeah, last night in the in the Philharmony was uh, I would I would say heavier version of Adam. Yeah, yesterday was a uh, was a premiere of these tapes. Like I don't know them very well. Mm -hmm. I just prepare them. Mm -hmm. And when I was yeah, playing yeah. yesterday, I just uh, have the first time to you know to make the comp real live yeah. composition of them. Yes. And for me, yes. it's really nice to know what I can do without knowing even them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I will practice with them, and at the end, I will know everything. And yes. that's yeah, and this is yeah. What, what what I find I, amazing about your job. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is actually the war. really compared to my uh, conception of, of I don't know what I really I can't control everything. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's like a feedback machine because the the computer gives me something I can't really you know. I hope I knew it somehow, but but not exactly. And then I have to kind of react on it, and so you know, it's like a like a black box. Actually, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I exactly yeah. know what, what you what you mean. It's yeah. like improvisation, you know. Yeah. it's mm -hmm. like you do, you never know what comes up. So the I so feel like, a... like you improvise with yourself because you yeah. just put something you don't know what will happen on next. You know, like yeah. If you don't know, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's like. 
it's not li- uh, not, it's not like totally like out of control listening. but but it's it's, lo- it's yeah like because like, you, know. <laughs> you ha- actually you have it under control because you know yeah. that something suddenly strange can happen yeah. you will have to react on it yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. yeah this is i find it amazing uh, when when we play music as well yeah uh-huh. yeah I do it quite yeah. similar way. Of my and yeah. the last thing I love field recordings. I love to record the, the things that happen somewhere. Like um, I traveling a lot, so I record a lot. Like uh, sometimes I uh, glue some contact mics to some uh, sculptures or some yeah, very yeah. strange objects, and I record them. And I always have the magnetophone with me. Uh-huh. Do it now. Do it on magnetophone, like straight to the tape. Uh-huh. And then I use these tapes to play. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's all. Cool, thank you, Adam. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, Hania, <laughs> need you? My story is very simple. <laughs> <laughs> I like songs. Uh, but but uh, uh, I always want to sing, but I'm a horrible vocalist, so I decided that to play in the band, I have to have. <laughs> instrument with me so I decide the uh, guitar will be the instrument but uh, when I bought it uh, I I thought that um, I don't want to learn from anybody anything because uh, I don't want to be infected by any education <laughs> mm. and uh, uh, first years I was just uh, having small radio and to FX distortion and blender and actually I know two chords and I was driving myself mad by playing two yeah. chords again <laughs> and again and then I was putting the guitar on the radio and listening to feedback and uh, digging in blender and that was my favorite fun but when I start playing with the bands everybody wants me to play B, C, C, D so I started to learn <laughs> and, and I did. Uh, actually, one friend told me that I'm uh, the worst guitarist on, on earth. So, <laughs> so I spent two years, like 10 hours a day, uh, learning. And at the same time, I, I started to listen. I, I get crazy about Frank Zappa and King Creams and stuff like this. So I started to play very progressive let's say progressive mm. uh, music and also that was time of jazz music in Poland so I, I, I was absolutely obsessed by uh, Wascott or Maestro Tritone uh, so we, we, uh, we had a band Hare Krishna Fast Food it actually I was more let's say it's jazz band mm-hmm. something like this and we start to have fun Actually, that's all I do, you know. Uh, I have a little bit more uh, effects now, but most of them are very old, and I don't think I need to buy anything else. Uh, I love use delay, uh, and I use it as a looper, and uh, uh, I like to create fat sounds. It sounds more or less like orchestra or or. I like digging in, in every not usual sound in the guitar. Hmm. But except that I play songs, so yeah. I, I have a few projects. Right now my the most important band is uh, LEM. It's it's um, rock electronic pop, let's say. But uh, no one's know actually what, what is the gender of the music, is this rock and roll or what? So it's Something, something like this, and uh, my solo project is called Nie Naj Nie. Oh, sorry, um, that's you. Oh. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. No, no, yeah. We saw it too, too, today. <coughs> okay. So Tomorrow there, there will be a concert. So well. all, I, yeah. all I do there is, is uh, yeah. having fun with, with the guitar the way I like it. So. Yeah, cool. I like everything around music actually because uh, I can work uh, as a technical support on stage. Uh, last two years I have to be a sound engineer in here, so I learn new stuff all the time. It's really uh-huh. good fun and it's very diff- I see it as a very difficult and that gives me lots of pleasure to do every show here. 
every time it's something new. I also like to play drum, but I think I have just two bands I play as a drummer and bass. And Mateo showed me a few years ago a Blackton, so uh, I started to record also. So I'm trying to record. Yeah, so. Yeah, and, and and you run this place here where we yes. where we are sitting you now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Organizing a lot of good things here. Yeah. It's everything is it's music. It's family music. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank so, you. Thank you. So my story is pretty simple too. It started in here in Gorzów when I was sixteen. Uh, something uh, by with, uh, of course reggae band Kreska and mm -hmm. it was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. something mm -hmm. like of, uh, I, I remember uh -huh. <laughs> so it was something more like oh yeah reggae man yeah fortunately I, I didn't have uh, this uh, case then with me and uh, it happened like two years after the Kreska Reggae Band. After I was pissed sometimes uh, on some sound engineers. <laughs> and I decided, oh, it's impossible. Uh, I decided, <laughs> so I decided that to make it easier for them, I will buy this uh, TC Helicon box, which uh, apparently makes all things easier. Supposed to, at least. Um, but then I discovered that it's a pretty good uh, source of any samples because any kind of sample I believe we can do with our own body. So with those extra uh, reverbs and blah blah, blah, blah or uh, this kind of material is good for raps. <laughs> What can be the fuck for the world? <laughs> so, so you can do pretty much um, a lock with uh, this case. And this is what I do exactly. For a lot of meeting variant artists like with uh, doing variant music and to speak with them with this muchacho and my inner voice uh -huh. conception. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, also some parts of samples you could hear uh, yesterday, yesterday right? yeah. were also the, yeah, that was the vocal line with the TC Helicon plus some samples from the space were also taken mm. from some cute recordings but also with, with the, this machine, using yeah. this machine. Uh -huh. What I love to do now with the vocals mainly is uh, dealing with the natural ping pong let's say um, while playing in one space every single space is working a different way so what i like to do is to kind of improvise with myself as you said so it is like i can multiply it as many times as i want to or give in the same time as many Variant vocals like a low one, the higher one, mm -hmm. as many, and put the whole harmonics. Sometimes this harmony out of the, the yeah, out of the vocals I have in mind, and sometimes it is like, yeah, I would like to say this kind of line and this kind of line, so, so this yeah, makes yeah, it yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah, see. to figure all. <laughs> Thank you. Honey. Thank you. Honey. Okay, we ready for some Extra. mess Coffee. here? Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I'll bring you a coffee. <laughs> coffee. coffee